Hello friends, this is Manjuna Chandraya. Today's session we will be learning how to use VLOOKUP to get the aging categories. So I have a data here. It is tab as aging, serial number, customer number, invoice date, amount, cutoff date. Cutoff date is nothing but the when the invoice is due to payment. And number of days is nothing but minusing cutoff date minus invoice date. So we know that still the 44 days had, had gone, this invest not yet been paid. But we need to create a category so that to easy to understand the which category falls in less than 30 days or 20 days. Because any cust any vendor, they will have a, uh, they have a threshold limit of 30 days, 60 days for making a payment. So we need to create a uh, aging categories. So I just made a sample aging, aging category, yes. Anything falls from 0 to 30 days, it will be 0 to 30 days. 30 and above, it will be 30 to 60 days. 60 above, 60 to 90 days. 90 above, it's 90 and 180 days. Something like that. So I've created already a category. So before using the Vilico function, so we need to first, first of all, we need to create a category. What we are looking for. So say uh, I want looking for a bucket, this is, we call it as a buckets. So we, we should know what buckets we want to put. So I, I already created 0 to 30, 30 to 60, 60 to 90, 90 to 120, 120 to 180. So 180 to 180 days and above. So anything falls, I want to know which all the invoices falls into these buckets or these categories. So I already made a small table. And make sure that when you try doing it, you always set this in a ascending order. See, 0 to See, the amount, the numbers getting increased. So we should always keep it in a ascending order, small to big. So I already set up as per my criteria. So once you're done with this criteria, main thing is you should set up the criteria. Then, in a way, we have minus this cutoff date with the inverse date. We have the number of days. So we can go to start the VLOOKUP. So starting a formula, use equals VLOOKUP, open bracket. So um, everybody try uh, uh, putting a formula using here itself, but let us try using insert function. It gives much clear uh, visibility like what, what are we are selecting exactly. So it says lookup value. Lookup value is nothing but what we are trying to look. Looking is nothing but number of days. On the base of days, we are want, we need to find the category. So what category it falls. So 44 means, 44 days it means it should fall in. 0 to 30 to 60 days category. So what I'll do? Look up value. It says value means you need to select the single cell. So let's select days, 44 days. Table area is nothing but where the criteria you are trying to retrieve. Because here the, we already built the criteria. So from here it, it should take the data. So since we have selected the dates, we'll start from the dates. So see, so I selected this till here. Once you select this range, see once you copy this formula down, the range also, it will start moving down because this range is not freezed. So it's, it says I1 to I7. So when you copy the formula, it's keep going down. So, sorry. So let's freeze this range. You can do F4 function. Hit F4 function. As you can see, the, the dollar signs next to the, to the, to the range. So it is now the range is free, freezed. The column index number is what you are trying to get. Index is which column data you are, you are trying to pull. Since we have days here, we, need, we are trying to pull the category. So we have started from day, days, I column to J column. So 1 and 2. So second column data we need because the range what we selected is I to J. So I is the first column, J is the second column. So we are selecting 2. A range lookup is nothing but what are you trying to get a exact value since these days getting changed frequently so here I have 44 78 it is not constant so we will try to use nearer to that anything if we 44 falls near to uh, near to these categories say 30 it will pick this uh, aging category so let leave it blank if you leave it blank it takes as a true Usually when uh, when you put a normal VLOOKUP, we always put 0 here See, because we need to get the exact value. Whereas whereas in this case, everything is same but in the range lookup, range lookup, we are not going to put anything here. So if you leave it blank, it takes as a true. 
if you want you can put it as one so one if you put it takes as true here or you can type it as true here if you can type true still it takes so let's not we, we are not supposed to we are not going to put anything here let's leave it like that click ok now you can see 45 days and the agent bucket it falls in the category 30 to 60 days once you have this just drag this down to all the values or copy the formula now you see guys so 44 falls 78 falls in 60 to 90 bucket 130 falls 120 to 180 bucket 11 days falls into 0 to 30 days so 90 and above it falls into 180 above category it's very simple guys uh, whereas usually uh, a lot of people use this if function that is also fine because you need to give n number of function if functions to the solve so one two three four five six times you need to give if function and get the data but if you make some mistake it will again it will we need to change that whereas this is very simple only thing is we need to set up the ca category what you are trying to get and just put the vlookup when you put the vlookup everything is same as per the uh, uh, normal vlookup the range lookup we're leaving it blank or you just put it as one true true is nothing but it takes to the nearest uh, value which is nearer to the 44 and and very important sort it in ascending order so once you sort it, it the formula looks first here and then it goes to checks here so always set it in a ascending order that is very important one thing is ascending order and we are not putting anything in range lookup very simple guys i think uh, if you like this video kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos and learnings thank you guys happy learning i come up with next uh, probably a multiple sheet uh, vlookup i'll try to share that uh, in uh, next session please subscribe for more videos thank you